Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is something new that I've come up with. Uh, those of you who have subscribed, you guys know that I post different kinds of videos. I post video essays, poems, reenactments even. And I've been trying to carve out a niche for myself on YouTube. YouTube, which of course has... Um, let me just check this out. Five minutes later. I'm one of those 50 million content creators trying to come up with new content. I don't, th I don't think I should be using the word content because as you know, it is a word that was exclusively used in business and now it has taken over the world of art. Wasn't well, this statement supposed to be controversial? I guess it does not matter until, unless it's against the MCU. Do you remember when that happened? The Marvel Cinematic Universe versus Martin Scorsese. You remember the articles and the pictures that came along with those articles, like this one. <laughs> Look at that. Martin Scorsese is a one-man army against all the Avengers. November 4, 2019, the day the debate took its peak, when Martin Scorsese wrote an article explaining why Marvel movies aren't cinema. And people were like, how dare you say it's not cinema? I get it, you god of cinema and all, but how can you say that? It plays on theaters, dude. Advertisements play on theater. Advertisements are cinema. How dare you say it's not? Advertisements are cinema. Coppola came to the defense of Martin Scorsese, and people spew hate on him as well. What did he ever do? Create Godfather, which is hailed as the best movie ever made? But still, have you watched that movie? No hero, no villain, nobody flying in the sky, what kind of movie is that? But you know what, I agree with you. Marvel movies are cinema. They're feature-length films that appear on theaters and they, they evoke a lot of responses from an audience. I agree with Craig LB from Screen Rant when he says that the characterization of Captain America might not be as nuanced and inventive as that of Travis Bickle, but Steve Rogers' arc over the past decades worth of films has been teeming with pathos and very real human feelings. So yeah, that's not a problem. Nobody is stopping you from watching those films. The nexus of the discussion and the thing that Martin Scorsese and Francis Ford Coppola are worried about is the future of independent cinema, cinema as they know it. Cinema that comes from people like uh, Paul Thomas Anderson, David Fincher, or uh, Wes Anderson. There should be no monopoly in the world of cinema, in the world of art. Because if that happens, then one film is going to be the talk of the town, and it's going to receive all the investment, it's going to play in all the theaters, Meanwhile, other films will get neglected or rejected by production companies, and we might not see a scene like this ever again. Say it louder. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my boy! I don't think Daniel Day Lewis would come back in a Marvel movie and do that. So we need all forms of cinema. That is the whole thing, right? And it's not like people don't want to watch these films. If you look at Juno, it's a perfect example where it received enough investment, enough advertising, and people watched it, and people loved it. This right here is proof that independent cinema has a place in our world. So hopefully we'll get there. We'll have independent theaters as a platform for independent directors to showcase their work. Meanwhile, we'll have Marvel films. DC films, superhero movies, blockbuster action films, and we will enjoy both of them. So what did you think about the video? If you liked it, like it, and you can comment your feelings on the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with another video. Break.